were just driving up to the van by uh, the back end of Hart Hill Hall and Haddon Hall and we spotted um, this Luton and the occupants having a cup of tea outside so we thought oh, it must be a motorhome so we, we, we turned back down to uh, see them excuse the noise we got tractor just pulling away so we came back down from the caravan to have a word with the guys and yes it is a motorhome but it's a multi-function um, vehicle so, so yeah, they agreed to show us around. It's not, um, it's, it's not a sort of vehicle what, like in the back of the camper. It's a camper, so it's like a normal vehicle. Yeah. But inside, it changes it to, you know, you dig, you pull up, you know, these campsites. But they, I built this to work in a field in the middle of nowhere. So I can have a shower, I can cook some food, yeah. you know, sleep. yeah, and sleep, and then get my machine out, weather's right, and go yeah. flying. <laughs> And have a good, you know, bit of time in the air, do some aerial photography, and, and enjoy myself. So Brilliant. that's what it's all about. It, uh, the tail lift doubles up as a veranda. I it mean. does, and also <laughs> my equipment goes on there. So, so rather than scratching around on the floor, getting kids up, I sit on it, right level, so it's nice posture. And you just walk over to your wing, connect up, and off you go. Mm. So it's uh, yeah, it's great for that. And you're saying it, uh, you fly. What what is it you fly in? I fly paramotors. Paramotors. And it's all stored inside? Yeah, from inside. It's a bit messy at because I've been travelling a bit, but this is a paramotor. Yeah. The flying machine that we do. Yeah. Uh, and the wing's there at the side of it. And all my kit I need. D5 uh -huh. as well. And then I've got my TV set up there. TV set and audio stuff. All hidden away and... All hidden away, uh, yeah, that's the idea. Multifunction. Yeah, we always have first aid kits and fire extinguishers and stuff. Yeah. Then you've got your cooking area, you've got a sink, mm -hmm. cooking area, tea, coffee stuff. Oh, nice lock up. All the cabinets yeah. lift off. Is that, this is what has intrigued me. You say that they lift off and that's to enable you to use it. Well, say if I, if I want to uh, turn this back now to a, a vehicle, say for instance, that uh, I want to get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just take them cabinets off and they're out. And so you're back to back to a normal full space. Back to a normal vehicle. Yeah. Like that, you say. Yeah. Very clever. But the, that's the well, that's the, the idea I got in, involved with it. Yeah. So, so you, all these just can take out and you 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 laugh at. Yeah. Well, you just turn it back to a normal vehicle. It yeah. ends up as an empty van. Yeah. Same yeah. as the uh, the the bathroom area. That all on clicks on connectors. Uh -huh. It just unclicks it, I've got hot water and everything for that. So what, what do you use for hot water? Hot water, I've got a gas um, uh, gas uh, heater. All right, yeah. It heats my water up and then it goes in, you know, into my shower and, you know, you get hot water here as well. Right. Because uh, that's something we haven't got. We've, we've just got uh, a cold water supply and, a, and just pour it. There's your shower bit, there. Got your sink. Oh, right, yes. Yeah. You can see that. Yeah. And you've got obviously yeah, toilet. It's a bit messy, wrong because I'm a bit on tra travelling. But, but yeah, I can have a you know, you're hot and sweaty on a hot summer's day. Yeah. Freshen yourself up, yeah. sit down with your mates in the evening time, yeah. have a few beers, and off you and go your again. Your, your bed's up in, in the loft area. Yeah, that's the bed area where you can yeah. climb. You can take this seat out. Yeah. I've, I've been building other bits, but I'm going to move this bed down and make yeah. two seating areas and move this forward. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to alter it around. But that's the beauty of this because it's not hard and fast. I can do that. Mm. So. But it's, in winter it's nice and cosy because I've got a, a night eater. Yeah. You know the Eberspatches? Yeah, we've, yes, we've diesel got one of them. Yeah, diesel heater. Yeah, diesel heater. Yeah, I've got one of them. Um, yeah. It's got a little controller with it. But uh, yeah, I've got gas bottles that I have on it. Right. And uh, turn stuff on. You know, I've got turn my little water heater on up here. Yeah. There, you turn that on. So everything's out of the way where you don't bang it. Because obviously, you know, moving this kit around, you know, you want a bit of room. Yeah, it's quite a hefty piece of kit. And then I've got uh, my water in them in there, I've got two water bowsers. Right. So I'll carry 120 litres of water. Um, and then at the end I've got my fuel tanks. And other side I've got uh, my waste tank, which is remote control. So I can, you know, it's grey water. Right, yeah. I can press a button and it automatically opens a gate and 
gets rid of it if I'm going through a field. Right, yeah. You know, uh, obviously with the, the, the toilet section, that's a cassette used yeah. with the, the proper fluids. That goes down drainage properly, yeah. obviously, you know. Yeah. As, a, as a decent camping person, I think, you know, have a bit of respect for people yeah. and don't ditch things in wrong places. You know, it's just a bit of courteous. I mean, same as us with flyers. We, you know, we don't yeah. take off from fields unless we get permission first. So mm. we do have respect for people, mm. and we always keep the place tidy when we leave. I think that's a, a uh, code that we all ought to live by. Um, yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, it is. Um, there's, you know, if if people do that, you, people, you know, we'd have an easier time when you know, we don't want you people pulling exactly. out because exactly. they think they think the wrong things of us. Yes, yeah. and, and unfortunately, it's the few that. Uh, we're all tired. It's the minority yes. spoiling for yeah. the majority. Yeah. So I, right. I always like to live in, in keeping with people. Yeah. And mm. uh, you know, try and be friendly with people as much as you can. If somebody gets a bit funny, I'll just move on yeah. if I have to. But I don't I've not really had much trouble. I've you no. know, I've been, been quite lucky in my travels. And you're saying that you've got solar panels up on the on the top? Yes I have, yeah. If you just look in this corner here, you'll oh, see the controller right. here with all my circuitry on here with sub circuits. Oh, right, yeah. So I've got my controller. Uh, I've got in main power in emergency to kill, yeah. and then I've got all sub circuits with fuses in there. It's right. full of wire in there. And you know. what what panels have you got? What power? What, uh, two? You know, I've got two panels up there. I don't know the full um, wattage or uh, wattage or whatever it is, but mm. I do know uh, I got them off my friend um, who does. You probably see the green tra green trailers on the side of the road. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, yellow trailers. Yeah. And they tell you like the M1's closed at this point. Yes, or give me information. Yeah. Well, they they do them. So I've I've used their system just to power the, power this up. And, and in summertime, it's brilliant. Yeah. Winter time, you might need to put a generator on because obviously you're not getting the right sort of VUs from the sun to mm. be able to charge the batteries. That is a bit of a pain. And what batteries have you got? You say two. I've got 200. two gel batteries. Right. Uh, s slow ones. Um, slow release ones. Um, mm. They're 200 amp hour a piece. Right, so that's quite a hefty uh, power bank you've got. Yeah, you, you do struggle to carry them. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I mean, at the moment I've only got one on, but I do normally have two on. Mm. But it's because I've carried extra weight, I'm trying to keep the weight down, you see. So it doesn't take long before you get up to your limits. Your limits, <laughs> yeah. And, you know, as a responsible person, you've got to try and keep within your limits. Mm. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you. I, I quite enjoy this. Yeah. And uh, I look forward to seeing my video on, yeah. on the thing. <laughs> Well, thanks for that. It's uh, a little tardis inside, really. Well, yeah. Uh, lots of space, especially when you th consider the uh, the equipment that you're carrying. Yeah. And uh, the storage and everything, you know, the bed and everything. The thing was, it uh, where I was at home, um, I was going into my bed, and we, we was going. Maybe my friends were going to shows, and we was going there. And of course, first night in in a different bed, and you're like, oh. <laughs> so I thought, wait a minute, how do I get over this? Make this bed my number one bed yes so i sleep like you would at home yeah and i've done that and you know some i go in this i wake up in the morning so nice and refreshed and my mates like <laughs> how come you can sleep so well because i sleep in this bed all the time yeah. and that was to me was a big key to it so you have to live that lifestyle yeah, yeah. and uh yeah I, I quite enjoy it well thank you you know so well thanks for showing us around i do appreciate it and that's a pleasure okay thanks probably see you again on the road sometimes yes, <laughs> Yeah. From and from the outside, you it is just a panel van. van. Well, I'll, so I'll show you. I'll show you. Really, you really, uh, a hidden sort of gem inside. Camping. Stealth camping. It is a, a panel van with an inside. <laughs> so, Mercedes. Um, very interesting. No, you've been a good friend. Nothing to think and think.